Hey guys, Bear Love here, and welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we headed up Mount Ember and taught Moltres and got here to Island where I wandered around for like three minutes. In this, uh, in this episode, we're gonna do what we should do on Two Island and head to Three Island and do what Bill wants us to do. So, this old lady here actually does do something useful. You want to have your starter, if you actually kept your starter, in the front slot, and this is what happens. I perfected the ultimate move of its type, but no one take it for future use. Hmm? Hmm? You, you, that Charizard, and she hops around. Oh, this is the one. This is the Pokemon. This Charizard is worth of learning my ultimate move. Will you allow it? Will you allow your Charizard to learn my Blast Burn? So, Blast Burn here. It's... It's the Fire Hyper Beam, pretty much. It's Hyper Beam, but Fire Type. So, I'm gonna go ahead and teach it to software. So, yeah, he, it's a very powerful move, Fire Type, but it leaves you open next turn if you miss, so... It's it's pretty good. I'm gonna go to steel or oh, metal claw. So that's the 150 damage thing is really powerful. So if you come in with a uh, Venusaur, it'll learn Frenzy Plant, the grass counterpart to this move, and with Blastoise you get Hydro Cannon, I think it's called. So yeah, very good move for Sulphur. Gasp, gasp, gasp! I didn't think I could teach that move while I still lived. She actually did it. She like, shot it with a fire out, and that's weird. But okay, well I'll meet you guys back at the boat. To head to Three Island. Okay, let's get a board here. Oi there, where do you want to sail? Let's go to Three Island. Alright, and we get aboard the boat and head on over. Okay, so here on Three Island, we gotta look for Lestelle. And remember that guy in the game corner? That's actually the guy you want to give the meteorite to, but he's so out of it that he won't take the meteorite from us. Well, the gem that Bill gave us. And here's Three Island Pass. What the hell is going on here? Hey there, how's it going? What am I doing here, you ask? Why, I'm prospecting for gold. When I strike it rich, I'm buying a house in Kano. So this path right here is apparently, like, the Three Island Path, but we'll get into what that is way later, but first, this biker is running around here. What's going on here? What's, what's this? Are you the boss? Go back to Kanto right now. Ha! I just got here, pal. What's with the hostile attitude? It's mighty cold of you. Your gang of followers have been raising havoc on their bikes. Do you have any idea how much trouble they cause us on this island? No, man. I don't get it at all. Look at this place. What do you do for entertainment? You ought to be thanking us for lighting up this sleepy village. But hey, if you insist, you can try making us leave. Good, you cowards. So tough in a pack. We gotta help them out. You, what are you staring at? Oh, you know it's not polite. You wanna make something of it or what? No. That's not. Keep your nose out of this. Let's <laughs> just give up. <laughs> but no, we gotta help these two guys out, so we gotta pick a fight with all six of these guys. So, yeah, this is just a string of battles, so... Make sure you heal up, there's a Pokemon Center right there, so... These fights aren't that bad, though, just a bunch of poison types, like, yeah, around level 37. Let's try a new Blast Burn out here. Boom, it even changed the colors, like, make it all negative, and down goes coughing. Okay, so the good thing about this game is if you use a move like Hyper Beam, it gives you the option to switch out and it gets rid of that uh, turn of rest that you need. So that's always good. If I kept Sulphur out there, I would have to take a turn of rest, which means I couldn't use an item, I couldn't attack, I couldn't switch. So it's a good idea to switch out after a move like that. But right, we'll just get Tubbs going here. Wow. Damn. Tubbs. The steam rolls the Grimer. And bike a goon. I feel bad for you, man. Wow. What is this kid? I'm just a kid. Okay. Aw oh, man, don't you dare laugh. Aren't you from Kanto? You should be on our side. Oh yeah, the pink mohawk gang here. This is, they all riding motorcycles and they managed to like turn on a dime like that, but nah, whatever. Another coughing, yeah, these battles are just coughing after coughing after coughing and glamour after glamour after glamour. Maybe even a wheezing or two in there. Maybe it is. I actually wanted. I should have put Tubbs out in front and get him a little bit of experience in this, but meh, we should be fine. Stop fooling around. Nope. I like fooling around, especially with your mum. <laughs> Whatever. And here comes number three. So these guys, yeah, it's just just a bunch of fights. They just decide to throw at you. You don't even get very good experience in this, but experience is experience, I guess. Gotta take what you can get. I think we're almost at the 8th gym now. After this, we could almost head there. You could actually head to the 8th gym as soon as you get out of the 7th one. 
but I wanted to come here because this is an this is an optional, but eh, why not? Just to show it off. Because this, the, yeah, I think I might have already said this, but the Sevy Islands were supposed to be included in the original game, but they decided not to because there just wasn't enough room for all this. So once you left the seventh gym in the original game, you, like, the only thing to do was go straight to the eighth gym. But here is Cue Ball Paxton. So apparently he had a mohawk on the overworld, but he shaved instantly as soon as his fight started. And oh god, he actually is a wheezing. Too bad he'll probably die instantly to his flamethrower. Oh well, that'll give us some good experience. Ah, bastard. Well, at least he didn't leave self the shot. That would have been even worse. And good thing this guy doesn't have any hyper potions. Oh. And he died of lung cancer. Okay, muck. So this guy's got like the... All the good Pokemon he's holding on and all his brothers. Even though all the Pokemon were high enough level to evolve anyways, I believe. And this guy took the high route and let his Pokemon evolve. Don't poison. Ah, come on. Why'd I say that? I just totally jinxed it. Ah, oh, whatever. The Pokemon Center right there. We'll be fine. Tubs is succumbing to the poison. But, man, we just steamroll another muck. Golly. Tubs should be pretty dirty by now. Rolling around in grimers and mucks. That's weird, like, you, like, get a part of someone's, like, body and it's, like, blood or something, like, from a muck or something. So it's weird. And don't you start that minimized BS. Finish this up. There we go. And down goes Muck. I believe it's the last battle. I don't think you have to fight all six of them now that I think about it. I don't think, anyways. If you do, we'll defeat the other two just as easily. And we, they all pay us off. <laughs> yeah. Go right on hanging out with these hay seeds. Hay seeds. Oh, whatever. Who do I say? Thank you. Those good do nothing but bad trouble. Oh, look. Your Pokemon got hurt on my account. And he gives us a full store. That's always nice. You got seriously impressive Pokemon with you. Thank you. It'd be fantastic if someone as strong as you lived here. I hope you'll at least stay here a while. I beg your pardon? You're looking for Lestelle? Lestelle went off towards Bond Bridge a while ago. So, I guess we gotta head to Bond Bridge. I'll heal up Lee Okay, we're done here, so... Yeah, just a bunch of houses and mites and stuff. Nothing really of importance here, so let's head out this way to Bond Bridge. Just to repel this, okay. So you could like take this shortcut right here of a grass, but if you just walk around here, I don't know why they put that there. Just super lazy people apparently. They probably take more time cutting that anyways. But here the required fight, so I might as well show it. That double battle is obviously skippable. I'll fight it on the way. I'll probably fight uh, the skippable trainers on the way back to one island. Look at this, Aroma Lady Violet, She's, like coursing with pheromones apparently. And damn it, Sulfur is still up front. Oh well, I'll give him the 43 and call it a day. No. So this girl here has the Bulbasaur Ivy Sword combo going. She should have a Venusaur, but she doesn't, I don't know why. Oh well. Ivy Sword. Yeah, it's, This is a bad, like, something, like, not bad with Pokemon, just... It can kind of get boring where it just, these fights get so repetitive. Just your Pokemon get so strong compared to these, like, trainers. You just boom, boom, boom. Like, after a while, the challenge just totally gets out of you. Pokemon get so strong. But, you know, there's, they always so in the hard, um, like, the Elite Four is always tough, so that's, that's a good thing, I guess. But, in the other game especially, you're just walking around, fighting trainers, fighting this, fighting that, and they didn't really give you a direction to go. It's, that's why it's so hard. In the, in the later games, they always say, oh, you have to go to this city, you have to go to this city. In this game, it's just like, you just go forward, like, they don't tell you to go to the next city. It's weird. Well, I'm not talking about that. So this is Bond Bridge, apparently. This little bridge right here is Bond Bridge. Pretty crappy bridge, if you ask me. Uh, those are probably skippable trainers, but here we are. This is the Berry Forest, so... This is another easy dungeon in this game. Just a bunch of grass, hidden items, and a mini boss at the end, so... Yeah, there's a lot of hidden berries, like these little dark spots are here. Sometimes you find berries, sometimes you don't. There's a lot of patches of it everywhere, like here. There's not one there. You could use cut to maybe find more items and secret passages and shortcuts, but meh. The regular ways. Like, it's not like you're getting much speed, more speed out of it. Yeah, this dungeon's really not that bad. 
the dungeon after this, though. I believe that's a full heal, by the way. But anyways, the dungeon after this. Oh, nah. That one's a lot harder than this one. It's actually after this dungeon. The next dungeon will be the final dungeon in the game, so... Such that the second last dungeon in the game is pretty bad, but... This is actually a quiet so why, what am I saying? Uh, whatever, let's keep going. We're almost out of here anyways. Another, you could just save class there, but who needs that? And we come up here in little Estelle. Wimper, Sniffle, please help. A scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago. It kept scaring. It made Estelle scared. <laughs> little kids being taught to talk in the third person. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. She was like standing like pissing herself. Oh, here it goes again. No, go away. It's scaring me. Wow, I want daddy. And oh god, the pedophile emerges. Oh, it's a creepy old pedo. No, it's it's a level 30 hypno. It's pretty bad when the mini boss's place is as strong as the mini boss Snorlax was like three badges ago. Uh, I don't even know why they threw this at you. This stupid hypno. Get out of here. Put scaring little girls and go die. Your creepy old man beard. And your coin. No, oh, you, you can catch this hypno, you can kill it, and I don't know if you can run away. You can probably run away from it too, but either way, we save Lestelle. Oh, that was scary. Thank you. Lestelle came to pick some berries. You can have this. And she gives the berry. What's your name? Lestelle's scared. So can I go with you to my dad's house? Okay, let's go home. I always wonder. Her house is on Second Island. Well, Two Island. How'd she get to Third Island and get all the way to the Berry Forest all by herself? Like, jeez. No one, like, says, that little girl shouldn't be going in that forest alone, but whatever. So you rescue Lestelle. How can I thank you? Lestelle, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I got to be friends with Josh. Hooray, we're befriending small children, but anyways. Oh, what's that? You're saying this is for me? How did you know that I love the rocks and gems? You sure know how to make a guy happy. So I gave him a little girl and rocks. That's how you make this guy happy, apparently. Oh, I see. This is from Bill. You have to thank him for me. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. And we get a... All that, we get a Moonstone. That's it? Wow. What a rip-off. Oh, anyways. Let's head back to Bill. I'll meet you guys there. Okay, let's see what Bill has to say. Bill and Celio. Hello. Oh, hey, Josh. What kept you so long? We don't have any good time? Not really. Saving little girls and meeting, beating up bikers, right? We got it done. The PCs are up and running. I forgot his voice, so... That went incredibly quick. Mill is one amazing guy. Wish I was that amazing. No, no. There was always nothing left for me to do. See you, Leo? I have to hand it to you. You've learned a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> well, there you have it. I'm finished with the job. We should head back to Kanto. See you, Leo? I'll be seeing you again. Josh, I'm really sorry that we had to send you off alone today. I promise I'll show you around these islands sometime. And why do we lead the way? Whatever. Let me just take vote. And we're finally back in Kanto. Hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy Celio seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. If you have a tri pass, you can always take a ferry from the Vermilion Port. Alright, thanks for your company. So yeah, so we can always go back to the Sevy Islands. Just have to go to Vermilion where the SSN was. And Bill just swims off into the distance, but... Okay, so now that we're back here on Kanto... So, the next gym is actually in Viridian City. Remember that gym I might, may or may not have shown? That was locked in the gym leader was there? Well, he's returned now. So, there's this three here, Route 21. I'll probably go Oscar and fight all the Pokemon trainers there, just for some extra experience. But for now, let's just head over to Viridian City. And fly on over. Okay, you're in Virginia City, let's go up here, and we lose the repel effects, but come up here, old man just been standing in this gym waiting so long for this gym to open back up. Virginia gym leader return, but who could it be? Let's go on in. Virginia Pokemon gym leader, question mark, so apparently his name's question mark, but no. And of course, Drake just happened to get, <sighs> he just always one step ahead of us, so you guys say, yo, champ in the making. Even I don't know the Viridian leader's identity. But one thing's certain, this will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. No. Also, I heard that the trainers here like ground type Pokemon. So yeah, this leader will be the ground type leader. So this, there's a lot of trainers in here, but we'll get into all this crazy shenanigans next time. So, question of the video. 
Um, we are in the ground type gym, so I'm gonna make the obvious question. What is your favorite ground type Pokemon? Uh, my favorite ground type Pokemon would probably be, uh... Huh. You know? I... Uh, I think it's Dugtrio. Dugtrio is just a classic and just all around good. No! Ah. No, I was thinking... No, my... I ha it used to be Dugtrio, but I remember in, uh, the ne in the fifth generation, there's a I can't even remember his name. The Excadrill, I think his name is, like the mole, like, drills, it's like, it's really good. I love that Pokemon, it was actually on my team for the, uh, my black run, but anyways, so, yeah, leave your answers in the comments below. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button, so it's been the better level, let's play Pokemon Fire Red, and we will defeat the 8th gym leader next time. Later, guys.